Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to do a quick demonstration video on how I'm using AUM with Koala Sampler. All right? uh, this is by request. I am uh, also going to be uh, using an iPad Air 1 uh, just to let you know. So when I hit Koala, it's going to take over the whole screen and cut off my mic. But uh, I'm going to do something to circumvent that. Uh, also, uh, this is an iOS centric uh, tutorial. Sorry, Android users. I just I just can't hang with that uh, latency. <laughs> um, so let's load up Koala here. All right, let's hit audio. Now in the top input track uh, slot here, uh, I'm not going to put Koala. I'm actually going to put a mix bus. So let's go over here into mix bus and put receive from mix bus A. Sweet. So now anything that's going to mix bus A can go into the f the effect slots here. Now you can load up any effect slots you want. Uh, you can load up uh, you know compressors, limiters, uh, koala effects going into koala. But somewhere in the effects chain, you're gonna want to put koala in here. So uh, let's go enter app audio koala. This may take a a, a minute or two. Oh, actually, no. Okay, so Koala is acting wonky again. Actually, I don't. I'm blame, I don't blame Koala. I blame uh, AUM. It's been uh, acting wonky with uh, with Inner App Audio. Um, so, yeah, as you just saw, I enabled the headphone monitor. It is recording uh, Inner App Audio as the input into Koala. Sweet. So I already have a loop loaded into koala and uh next thing i have to do is make sure that koala is receiving the midi clock uh from aum so i'm going to hit the three dots at the bottom of the metronome here and send midi clock it's disabled let's enable it yes okay i have no idea what that thing just said it said warning of some sort but i don't care about that okay so i know that <laughs> I know that this uh, loop is at 134 BPMs. Sweet. So let's hit play. Cool, right? All right. So now, uh, let's just lower that. Okay, so now, um, let's look for a drum loop. Now, Koala has this, uh, not Koala, AUM has this uh, file player that will allow you to loop files uh, and uh, sync them to whatever BPM you determine, right? So let's look for uh, a file. So we're going to go into File Player and we're going to hit Tap to Load, Tap to Load File. It's going to default to Audio Share. You can use Audio Share, but if you have loops from other sources, you can hit this folder icon on the top right of this window and it will bring you to all the other apps in your, your iPad. You're right, just go into my, my iPad. Cool. I actually want to use uh, Audio Share. I have a lot of loops in there that I've, I've sort of filed um, by, by categories. Uh, very good to have an organized file structure in Audio Share, especially for this reason. And the reason being is we can play. Uh, we can play this loop, and now we can audition different sounds here. Uh, so I have this old sound pack that I found on my old computer. So as you can hear, as you can hear, this is uh, it's not playing them in time right now. What I'm really looking for here is uh, the sound and, and the groove, right? Because uh, I know. If I choose something, and I think I like that one, right? Yeah. So if I hit loop, and then I hit sync, uh, so number of beats is 12. That's wrong. Actually, the number of beats here is 16. And so, so now if I go back uh, and play the file all over again, time it pitched it down and that's the thing there's no time stretching or, or pitch shifting with the file player but it will uh, pitch your, your loops down in time so now 
we can go about doing all the other cool stuff that you can do in AUM, like uh, adding effects. Uh, woo, yeah, let's do that. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. Actually, I kind of want to cut out all that high-end implication. Uh, so, let's go this one. No. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. So, let's bring this up so it starts hitting the limiter. Uh, I don't want to squash so much. I do want a lot of makeup game. Ooh, that's maybe too much makeup game. Cool. Now, let's sidechain it or parallel it. I mean, parallel compress it. That sounds great. Awesome. Let's add a percussion loop. Same process. Audio. Uh, file player. Tap to load. Tap to load file. Uh, let's go into percussion. I want to find any old loop with a conga sound. Cool, that'll work. Let's go over here. Once again, loop. Sync. Make sure it's at 16. Let's uh, start everything over again. Cool. Alright, I like that. Sounds a little too clean though. Let me dirty it up with a, a dock and dunk. Actually, low fighter. Low fighter. Let's use that really quick here. Alright. routed everything to Mixbus A into Koala. So what we're going to do is on the outputs of these, put these into Mixbus A. And um, next thing we're going to want to do is we don't need to uh, have a loop here, repeating loop. We only need like a one shot. There's two ways to go about this now. You have the choice of hitting the record here and recording these loops and what it's going to do is it's going to record these as files into audio share and then in koala you can go import file and load those files but not really needed since we can just record them on a pad together um, in, in one fell swoop so, so let me show you how you can do that first what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mute my mic channel, but just uh, watch what happens on screen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't need a loop, so let's take the loops off of these. You would just do that by hitting the waveform, taking the loop off. Cool. Now let's go back to the beginning. Let me mute my mic. Mute my mic. Great. All right. So that's totally working. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Uh, all right. So yeah. Um, so that's how you would record a loop in. Uh, and like I said, you've recorded both of those loops. They're working just fine. Uh, let's put these back on because the next thing I want to do is add a bass part here. So let's re-loop these. Uh, now let's go into uh, audio plus and uh, AUV. Sure. Let's. Uh, oh, I know what I want. Poison 202, my go-to for basses and leads and pads and well, pretty much everything. Uh, it's very very CPU friendly, especially if I'm working on this uh, iPad Air 1. So, oh, it's, uh, the whole thing's in C. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to record some noodling. Hopefully, uh, I get it right. So, let's go into Koala.
Sweet. Okay. So now we have that loop in there. And that's basically how you do it. Now, if you want to add one shots, I find that one shots are a little bit easier to add with uh, within Koala by using import file. However, you can audition one shots by using the file player. The only difference is you wouldn't put on the sync function. Let me show you how that works. Audio, uh, file player, tap to load, boom, 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 uh, drum shots. So like I said, I have everything organized. I have bass drums, so I can go, nope. You know how you would do that is uh, go into well here let me get rid of uh, that let's go over here put it to mix bus a and then go into uh, koala of course let me mute my mic and let's go into koala so that's how that's done and you can do that with snares and hi-hats and all of your single shot uh, one shot drum patterns and this is basically how i'm using aum to fly in uh, loops get them in time with with the loops that i already have existing in koala uh, i can audition you know drum sounds um yeah i can play in whatever synths that i want um it gets really interesting when you start using time stretching uh, apps um, like uh, Blocks Wave, uh, Segments. You can use other samplers and sample that into Koala. Uh, so, yeah, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, stick around for part two of this where I'm going to show you uh, how I'm uh, sequencing things in Koala and then bouncing them out as stems and putting them back into AUM for mixing and using different effects and, and all that. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. Uh, peace. Make some beats, y'all.